Good evening, everyone. I am uh, truly honored that you would take the time out of your busy schedule to be here with me today. Again, um, my name is Rosalind So. I'm a member of the Navajo Nation. And before I start, I want to properly introduce myself in Navajo for my Navajo relatives and friends. Yak Eish Dine, Shay Rosalind So, Yinshia. Eish Chi Mi Cho, Ash Amazo, Bash Chin, Ogidash Chi, Bonk is a plan of Bash Nabe. I want to thank again also our honorable uh, tribal leaders that are here today and, and for again making this time to be here with, with us. Also want to uh, again thank a special thanks to Senator Smith and her staff for being here. It is my honor and my privilege to serve as a leader of the Indian Health Service. I am very excited. I've already had two meetings with my staff and lay down the expectations that I have moving forward with the Indian Health Service. Not because I can do that, because it's the right thing to do. And that it's time to turn the page and set a new, a new pace for IHS. I welcome the challenges and opportunities yet to come. Throughout the pandemic, without a doubt, I saw our heroes come to life on, uh, in all of our native countries. That allowed us to to meet the need to stand up to COVID-19. And that was done in part in, in a lot of places, side by side with tribes and tribal leaders. So I know with, with that, we can do a better job as we move forward. I also wanted to thank my friend and my colleague, Elizabeth Fowler, for her acting role and, and the work that she did. And I, I will continue some of her leadership responsibilities that she put in place already and we will continue moving forward. I also want to thank the Biden administration and, and of course, Senator, excuse me, Secretary Becerra for, for their trust in me to take on this responsibility for the Indian Health Service, the Indian people that we serve. I also want to recognize a person that I got to know pretty well throughout this process, my friend, my tribal leader, and a person that I work side by side with the, the hours that were put in for, to address COVID-19, President Jonathan Ness. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me many things along the way. I thank you for that. I also work side by side with the Navajo Nation Tribal Council. It's almost like I think working with Congress sometimes and how <laughs> difficult and challenging it can be. But to understand and to bring, to bring and build those bridges across across the different sides is what, what allowed us to be as successful as we were during the COVID-19. And I know we can do it on that level, so we can do it everywhere else, with every other tribe, with every other tribal nation, and that's what I want to strive for. I also want to acknowledge my family. My family's sort of tired of this whole process. They're like, it's just never gonna go away. You're never gonna get to where you need to be. But um, again, I want to acknowledge my mother, my sister D, my brother Jay, my children, Edward, Holly, Roberta, and Clayton. They have stood by me through this whole time, encouraging me and telling me that this will happen. It will happen, Mom. Just hang in there. Most of you know I spent many, many of my life in Indian Health Service. And I also know that some of, some of you might feel that it's been too long. But I am excited. I am ready to take on this challenge for the Indian Health Service. And I am committed to ensuring that we continue to improve access to care and the services that we provide to our tribal people. And I also want to make sure that we're, we're again, working side by side with our tribes, our tribal governments, our tribal leaders, and our urban programs and our employees, because without our employees, we can't do what we need to do. I believe that one of the things that we need to do, and one of, one of the uh, conversations that I've had with my leadership team today was we are gonna set a new pace for how we treat and how we work close with our tribal leaders. And I, as I am today listening earlier today to a Veterans Administration travel consultation, I am reminded of just how much work we need to do. 
I was at a meeting in early September where I had a, had a um, veterans commander come up to me and went, he said, we're done, we gave up on IHS. My father is a Korean War veteran. We owe our veterans more and better. Whatever that means, we have to do a better job. At the end of my father's life, I was able to care for him for a little bit. And we drove from clinic to clinic, referred out to another facility, you know, and I, I was glad to do that. But there are many of our families that don't have that ability to do that. So we need to continue to streamline our healthcare system. We need to continue to maximize telemedicine. We need to make sure that our electronic health record works for us and not we're not working for it. And those are really heavy things that we need to change and we need to address as we move forward. And I ask you, I ask you to, I will work with you. I ask you to work with me. I ask you that I will have, I will, I will provide access to you. One of the things that I heard from my leadership team earlier today, communication is a problem. But communication is a two-way street. It's not just me. I want to hear from you. I want to know what we're doing well and what we need to do better in. I, I want to thank again all of the tribal leaders for all that you do. I just have to watch President Nez and I just multiply that by, by the hundreds that are out there and know that you're, you're not just dealing with health, but you're dealing with everything else on your daily agenda. But to that, the partnerships that we were able to build in Navajo allowed us, allowed me to contact a Navajo Nation as a tribal Navajo Nation leaders, and we were put on the agenda. They listened to us, and that's what I want to build with you, with every tribe as we move forward. I want to thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your confidence in me. Yeah.